being a black folks, and basically I'm over at Itchy's site because I promote her because she tells you a lot about the truth about RAD CPM and stuff like that. What I want you to do is look at how I'm getting pegged. There's YouTube's normal designation on you know WW2, and then so everything will just be there. Okay, let me show you what Kerasoft or the federal government or somebody power, money, control, private detectives or something or private U.S. Uh, contracted psyops or something like that is done to my site because I'm going to show you an upload. Now basically that one didn't upload. I hope this video uploads. So let me show you address problem on something because basically videos are getting put to the back side and so forth and so on. So let me pull this up and show you my upload deal which as we have now I have a way to make sure my it's uploaded okay so watch if you're having upload problems you'll end up seeing them putting a dot somewhere in here in YouTube's address okay to screw you up so that it doesn't load your video okay so if anybody has uh, some religious group and uh, or private organization and I'm so I don't there is no apology I know that there are religious groups out there that if you're not their religion they are after your religion okay it's that simple Okay, power, money, and control. Go in there, folks. Sorry, because I'm religious, and there are people who have hang-ups. Okay, uh, so everybody has belief issue problems, all the way down the gamut, from how you comb your hair, how your, what color your hair is, what color your eyes are. Everybody's got hang-ups. Well, welcome to America, world, because we're not going to lose anything that. I was just basically showing you with the idea that I agree with Itchy on the idea that I've had plenty of members of my family yep have to do put up and do that okay so like we said folks basically everything is okay with YouTube what the problem is is there are organizations that are paying hackers to do stuff and it can be private contracted government stuff if something that you're telling is a lot truthful power money and control are going to mess with you on trying to express it and I have stated that this is a phone line ladies and gentlemen okay this is all privileged stuff so they eventually have to back off or the next thing you know the feds are going to show up and start catching people who are doing their across the line BS uh, annoying people and so forth and so on okay and yes that's how it all works is they want you to say something's going on so they can say that you're a cuckoo you see, well, I'm not cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I've got money in my ass so deep that I am the Sultan of Siam, pretty much. Just about everybody in my flipping family is. So, don't really care. So, try to make a fool out of me. Get in line. I got a boot for your ass. So, anyway, keep watching the video standards to some truth. Okay, so now we have got our moonrise in Hawaii. So let's plop this up so you can see it. Okay, so we have Moonrise in Hawaii on the 9th. Should be able to get our time of it. It was at 1.07 in the afternoon. Or no, that was a, that's our time there. Okay, 10.44 a.m. Sorry, folks. 10.44 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Okay, so let's watch what comes up 10.44 a.m. on what we were showing you on cloud to see whether... And basically, so you'll know that when we get there. Now, as you've seen, if you watched the video before that should have loaded, is the idea that you've got that circular there that we've been seeing up there at. And basically, I'll back that up real fast. And sorry, I don't have this blown up. Let's go back to that real fast. I know I'm getting repetitive on this, but this is what you see up there. Can I get this up out of the way? Above the clock, you will see that. You see those darkness? It's like that circular, okay? And then the other triangulations in the shadows over to the left are other things. So then you got to start matching them up with what we got up from Soho, which Soho told, shows us the total brilliant truth. So, quit, so I don't flop back and forth. We'll go ahead and get up to the meatball because we'll probably get close to, okay, we got 10 something because this is just, or no, that's one in the afternoon, I think. So we'll got to go back to the 
company 300 hour okay that's just before midnight and there goes our whatever we're going to get down to the brass tacks because as you see boom to the right and then that and that and that so how many suns do we have other super giants coming and rising right there or whatever it is okay because when i went to the map real fast on the constellations we basically have not got anything major jupiter a duh so the idea that when i put the title on there if it does lump a load, all right. It's the idea that it could be Jupiter, and we'll have to look. We'll take a look at Jupiter's rise time and stuff like that. But it still looks like possibly one of or the meatball, as you see how huge it is. Okay, because it's there. It's not a hologram. It's actual object, arama. Because you'll see right about here that'll really prove you the truth. Right about there that you cannot miss that that's not a hologram. Okay, these all are there. Those are holograms of the smaller objects. But that back there is the massive meatball right there. You see that right there? That's the outline of it. Okay, and it could, like I say, we'll see here about Jupiter here in a second on time. But let's see whether it's rising it. So we know that this is not the moon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now that could have been the moon somewhere part of it going up. Okay. But the only thing, if there's moon in this shot here at all, the only thing that possibly could be the moon, and that's at 21. And it was basically supposed to be 11 something, so it's not supposed to be rising at that time. Basically at uh, 11 something we had. And then you take uh, only an hour off, so it's 2300 would be 11 something. Let's go back to the time on that rise again stuff real fast. So it just basically as you watching the clock and watching this objects of basically stars of the supergiants or space, it doesn't matter, coming up. And let's go to what I was, sh uh, to that, to the constellation things and everything like that. Okay, so that's our object go off and then you end up seeing the meatball. More than likely. Now, the worst thing that we being wrong on this is the idea that it would just be Jupiter, which would be it's still amazing because of beautiful and I don't believe Jupiter is that dang close because basically we had been seeing Jupiter as being a smaller because on the constellation from Wolfie and there goes the meatball. Okay, so when we go to this, we will get we'll pull up our we got our moon rise at at 10:44, so it's like even an hour earlier. I was misquoting there. So uh, it's not the moon, and it was basically not Jupiter either. It shouldn't be Jupiter because we got the constellation map for the night. Okay, and then this was at the right time, and so forth and so on. Uh, and I don't get paid for, but the idea we love what I'm looking at. Okay, everybody likes these data. Great mainframe to talk to. Okay, so now, uh, and I don't voice it. I just basically, I figured what I'm gonna cut it out this time and put that on there. So, uh, so I'm not getting any money from them. Okay, I'm not advertising for them. So, but you try it, you'll like it. Okay, now. Uh, we got Jupiter. Okay, so then you start looking at what we got rise in there. So basically, I'm gonna pull up Jupiter for a rise on that on that night. Okay, folks. Basically, I'm having let's put it this way: gate problems. Okay, electrical talk, gate, gate. Okay, electrical gate on the IP and so forth, and not really an IP problem. Just basically feed in. Okay, but I was able to. So I don't know about sound, but I'm having gate problems, okay? So currently this is sky chart North America, okay? The most important thing is this is not the sun. When I show you the Asgard shot, it was something like five or something hours ago, so the sun would have been way over here, okay? So when you see this shot that I'll show you at Asgard real fast, it will pop to, and I've kept it there. If you see the time, UTC time, and you need to check that time out, uh... I believe we are sitting at like that's the clock there, twelve, and then that's the uh, seconds there, point six three. Okay, so as you see, you have that there, and yeah, it'll update whenever the hell I want to update it is when it'll update, ladies and gentlemen. That's correct. Watch what you put in your computer. Okay, so basically, we'll go ahead and click out of that, postpone. That's how you do that, folks, and then you don't get viruses. Okay, so now we have that object there at that time. Okay, so I showed you the current when you see my time down here. That was the chart. Okay, but that wasn't the sun in the west. And as you know, and I'm, yeah, earlier they were messing with this. So you couldn't read it. But the, the sun comes up here in the east over here counterclockwise. Okay, because the arrow is up here and that's north. Okay, so 
whatever we had over here, as you see there, uh, was not more than likely anything. It's got to be something out of, and yes, see, Mercury doesn't sit still, but we're going to have an interesting shot of Mercury here in a second that I'll show you that we got from, uh, we should have, hopefully, we tried, should have got, tried to get it fit in the last video. But let's take a look at those shots real fast because I have this shot here, which is black and white, that you know we're good from, from Navy, so it gets real honest. So you have that there, and let me zoom in on that real fast. So as you can see, if it is Mercury, if it even is Mercury, something's taking along with it, okay? And let's go to, I'll go to uh, what I got from uh, Artis, okay? So there you got a good look at it. You'll be able to pop back and look at it. Let me pop out at 400 so that you can see the idea that it's above the arm, okay? So when B is shooting back there, it's behind. Okay, so that's the angle that B is shooting from today. So it's kind of interesting that you get a vision like that. And as you see on the sky chart, it shows Mercury kind of like right underneath the sun there. Okay, so but when you see the actual shot that we showed you on three, when you go back and look at that, you know, and you go back up and look at the zoom in that I did at a thousand, it's very interesting because it shouldn't be and it shouldn't be all the way behind the arm and up in front of the satellite. Okay, so there's an interesting pair of our more than likely new supergiant stars to look at, folks, because just back up the video on this stereo on this here showing you where it's at, and as you realize the arm on the satellite, so the idea that how it's reflecting and so forth. Now it could be reflecting over the arm, but there's two really close together, not as far as part as Mercury and Venus goes. So, and then I'll go to Asgard, I think real fast here. I've got, or my solar artists here where I can pop through it and here we go. So that's where I seen it, you know? So I'm not like, well, that's kind of interesting because even if the planets are there, they're not that big. Mercury wouldn't be that big and so forth and so on. And then Mercury and Venus would be farther apart. Okay, so take your pick, and it's like we've always been saying when we're looking at it, is when you're looking at all these shots, all this stuff is as large as all the planets we know, so there's a heap of planets out that you can see a long ways away on Soho shots and so forth and so on. No, that's not a flipping satellite, okay? Don't let them think you're that, because we've already taken that out of the mix because the idea that we know how huge the sun is, okay? And the Earth would be just but a speck of little dot of computer dot compared to the sun there, which more than likely the sun is no bigger than that there. And yes, so I take you and show you the pictures real fast, and you'll start realizing that we have that group in circulation over there. And you'll notice really good on the A and B shots, okay? You have that stuff I was showing you in the last video, but that gets kind of repetitive. So let me go ahead and, and put this together. I'm trying to wind out of basically having a pain in the butt on Wolf Ram getting slowed down for some stupid ass reason, okay? So as you see, it's more than likely each one of these bursts that you're seeing here is more than likely not CME action. That the idea that you're seeing separation of superstars in uh, basically supergiant stars. The sun, our sun, and other suns that are in stars that are in the supergiants, because you got bam, bam, bam there, right? Now, and then you basically, more than likely, I think that would be Mercury there, that planet there. You see right there? That's be Mercury down there. And then also look here, and then you get a burst at the idea that more than likely, boom, boom, boom. So the idea that when we're getting these still shots, it's almost better than the animated little movies and stuff like that, because you get a good grouping of probably what some of the sun stars are out there, because... Basically, no matter what, your eyes don't fake you out. When you look at that, and I blew that up, there's two small suns, or stars, folks. Two, and they're not small compared to because when you realize how huge the sun is, okay? And the idea that, okay, maybe it's Mercury, but the idea then why is we have that, and then what the heck is close to Mercury? Because you see there's two balls there, okay? No matter what, there's two something, okay? It's not just Mercury, because unless it's on fire again, because... As you see, there's supposed to be separation. Also, look at all the charts that I showed you there earlier for Soho and so forth and such is and so on, okay? And then you got whatever's at that shot at that time. And then you got whatever it's this shot at that time. So, it's very interesting because you got the stereo. There you go, where stuff is supposed to be. So, I'll see if I can get on Solar Artist for fresh pictures. New Mexico sky, folks, moon setting, okay, early this morning, 10 hours ago from the clock in my corner, okay, so that's what, what we had in all these objects around out in the sky by the moon setting, okay, so that probes you every morning, also asteroid belt action there, or 3D reflection of stuff from the moon, of objects in front of the moon, 
there as it sets in the west, okay? Because the idea of, of the stuff that the moon wasn't over in Hawaii at that time at night, okay? Because it's pretty close to what it would be the night or later in the week.